I'm about to show you how insanely simple it is to create something like this with AI. 7.13 p.m. Emma sent a final text. I think someone's in the house. By the time her neighbor got there, the lights were off and Emma was gone. No sign of forced entry, no fingerprints, just a half-eaten dinner and a phone screen still glowing. It took investigators three days to find the hidden camera inside her smoke detector, streaming everything to a private server. The footage was traced back to a man she knew well, her ex, a cybersecurity consultant. And this wasn't the first time he'd done it. He'd been watching women across three states for years. That's pretty cool, right? Now, what I'm about to show you here in the next four minutes can be used for any niche, but the true crime niche is particularly interesting because a lot of YouTube channels like these have been making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month due to its popularity right now. Now, even if you never created a video at all before, you can do this with AI. This type of content used to take a script writer, an animator, a voiceover artist, and a video editor, which would cost a lot of money. But now even a complete beginner who wants to start making videos can create it online in their web browser with just a few clicks and create this whole video. So we'll cover three simple AI tools and the exact prompts to use. So you can quickly learn this yourself or train a freelancer and automate a content system with this. We'll start by visiting lumalabs.ai. This is the most beginner friendly, but you can feel free to use whatever photo plus video or video generation software you want to use like Google VO3 or Sora. Once you're on your image generation site, paste in this prompt where it asks for a subject and a pose, just describe the scene you want. Now click on make a video and adjust the camera angle. You'll find some surprisingly professional looking options for such an easy to use site. Repeat this for each shot you need. Now to get this gritty true crime style text animation, go to paperanimator.com. Now click on text match cut. Choose a dark theme and a newspaper style background. Then simply type the text you want on screen. Within seconds, it gives you a clean cinematic visual that fits the aesthetic perfectly. Now to get the text message at the beginning, go to ifaketextmessage.com. Now type in your text, Select the orientation and color you want. I selected blue and on the right so it looks like an iMessage being sent. Then hit create image, then download. Now, if you don't have Photoshop or something similar, I use these websites to crop the background and remove the image. I love img.com forward slash crop dash image. Then once you crop it, go ahead and download it. Then upload that cropped message picture to removal.ai. Now you have a clean text and all your visual elements are ready. Next, you'll need a voiceover. So head on over to 11 Labs. Now again, any text-to-speech service works, but 11 Labs tends to offer a stronger vocal delivery and cleaner voices. Use whatever you prefer, just make sure it fits the tone of the story. I selected this voice for the female. I'm going to read you a story in a soothing, warm, and friendly voice. And I selected this voice for the male. You'll want to order the super strong Viagra by five o'clock this afternoon. Now that we've got all your assets ready, pull everything into a simple video editor like CapCut or DaVinci, since both of them have free versions. I'll be using CapCut for this tutorial. Drag everything to the timeline. Trim out the silence in your voiceover. Keep in mind you might have to combine different versions of the voiceovers together to get the right attenuation. Arrange all your clips and enhance the video clips slightly with vignetting. Add some subtle background music and a few cinematic audio effects. CapCut has background soundtracks and sound effects built in for you to browse. To animate the text message image, I added start and end keyframes and adjusted the values accordingly for the position, scale, and opacity values. And to get this siren effect, select the clip you want it to apply to and go to Relight, select Colored Light Swipe, and under Object Dropdown, select Both. Keep things clean and tight, no need to overdo it. Just add enough polish to keep viewers watching because most of the hard work has already been done by AI. And if you want the exact formula I use to make videos like this pull in millions of views without the guesswork, I put together a free viral video checklist that breaks down everything I've learned from coaching people and running multiple channels and brands, both faceless and personal brands. This is exactly how I got 130,000 views on the very first video on this channel and how I got monetized with that within 30 days. I packed all my knowledge into one actionable PDF so you guys can do the same. Grab it for free. The link will be in the description and subscribe for more.